Well, hello guys, good evening. It is just two of us today. I don't know what's going on. Well, we're going to wait in just two minutes for the other ones to connect. They do not connect. We're going to start with what we have for today, okay? Okay. Good evening. Well, just five people, guys. Well, today is our last class. I don't know if you have been checking the, the messages that human resources left you on the group. So um, they were texting you about that they need you to connect to this last class. Why? Because uh, remember that even though I do not pass the list, they are, they are able to see who, who attends to the classes and who is not on the classes. So that is also a very important part of of you guys or for you to go to the next level. So that means that if you have not come a certain period of time or if you have not attended to classes, that can also affect you a little bit. Because I, as you know, I don't pass the, the list, but they do. I mean, there is a program who lets them know who is in the classes and who is not. So, uh, they are getting the records of that. But I don't know if the other ones are going to connect because it's already 8.03. So what is gonna happen? But well, for today, as it is our last class, we will have uh, like kind of practices, uh, little reviews of some of the topics that you that you told me last time that were kind of complicated for you. So we're just going to make a brief review. And after that, we will go to some practices that will be kind of a final exam. We will have uh, like an exam for today. I don't know what happened. I just saw Heidi was connected and now she disconnected. All right, guys, so let me ask you, um, can you hear me clearly? Like there's no interference or, or do you hear me a little bit far? Do you hear me well? All right, cool, thank you. 
So um, first of all, let me ask you guys, what do you remember about adverbs of frequency? Can you tell me like some of them, like some examples of adverbs of frequency? The time, creo que había uno. No? The what? The time? Uh, no. No. Always? Always? Always. Yes. Another one? Never, que es el más que me acuerdo. Never. <laughs> Never. Hardly ever. Never, <laughs> yes. What else? What is the one that give me the 50%? Like the 50%. What is that one? Sometimes. Sometimes. Very, very good. All right. So is it seldom an adverb of frequency? Yeah. All right, cool. Very good. So, um, we have always, usually, normally, generally, often, or often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. But that's the most common. I don't know what happened, guys. The other ones are not going to connect today. I don't know what's going on. And today we're supposed to have our last uh, evaluation that is going to be kind of a test for you. It's going to be in groups, of course, but we will check how well or how good was your process dur during, this, uh, during this module. I don't know what just happened with the other ones. They probably thought, okay, it's the last class that so we want to attend. But thank you guys for being here because that means that you are always responsible on, on well, on this class. As I told you at the beginning, the human resources department. They have a record of who is attending to class and who is not. So if you haven't been connected that common to classes, they will notice that. So remember that um, it is part also of the 80% of the platform. So you have to work on the platform and obviously you have to work on the exercises and attend to classes because if not, they are taking all those records for you going to the next level. So uh, first of all, we're going to have the practice because I need to verify or to check if you are able to, to understand some instructions. And in the last minute, or in the last minutes, we will have uh, a, a review of some of the topics that you were not able to understand. So I will share with you this slide about the practice that we will have today. Okay, let me share the screen with you so you can see what's gonna be the practice to this practice. So, uh, I will need you guys to take screenshots or to take some photos because this practice, we are going to do it in groups and because we are seven, seven, one group will be three and it will be another two groups of two. And this is kind of an exam not with a, with a score, no necessariamente con un puntaje, but this is just kind of an evaluation for me to verify how well you learn some of the topics and if you have previous information or with the previous models, if you understood something about it. So this is the instructions part. I don't know if you already took a screenshot or a photo, so I can go to the next one. Hello, hello. Done. Perfect.
Is it done? Yes. Right. Part number two. Instructions. Can I move forward? Yes. Okay. Can I move on to the part number three? Yes. Oh, this is always same part of number two. Done? Done. Part number three. Um, I just wanna tell you in this part, guys, uh, I'd is a contraction of I would. I'd is a contraction of I would. No, it will be just here, until here, guys. The next part, no, forget about that. So it, it will be just this part. So I just wanna check uh, if you have some knowledge about these topics or if you know something about some previous modules that you already have and some things that we have seen through uh, or that we just have just checked through, through this module. So uh, I'm gonna stop sharing this and uh, we will go to see how well were you or how well are you at this point? Because you're going to module number three. And in that module number three, guys, we are going to see kind of similar things, not as specifically the same, they will be similar, so it will be very important that you know since this moment. So this is, remember, this is just an evaluation just for me to verify if you can understand what you're doing, if you are able to follow some instructions and things like that. So do not feel like frustrated if you don't understand something or don't feel some kind of pressure. This is just an evaluation for me to determine if you're able to understand some of the topics or some things like the ones that we already saw. So let's go there, guys. If you have any questions, please ask for help. So I will be checking your groups one by one.
Hello, Monica. Hello, hello. Hi, Monica, are you there? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Monica, can you hear me? Tenemos una barbacoa. Uh -huh. Sí, en la playa. We have... We have... Le falta la E. Uh -huh. sí, estaba cortito. What do you do? ¿Qué quieres hacer después de la graduación? What do you do after graduation? Y este sería otra vez. Uh -huh. Este no tiene el cosito de abajo. Uh -huh. este. A ver. Eh, que cerremos el círculo, la palabra correcta dice, ¿verdad? There are lots of beautiful trees in this forest. Eso. ¿Cómo? Espérame, mm. eso sí no, no vi. Espérame, espérame. Ajá, eso es lo que les estaba, les estaba preguntando, pero se escucha como cortado, no sé. Is there a question? Teacher, ¿y aquí vamos a usar los dos verbos o solo uno? No, that one it will be one. You will decide whether number one or number two. The best or the one that fits well on the sentence. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
No question. Um, for a number three. Uh, half, guess, half, guess, Espe guess. Esperar. Esperar. Pero como de esperanza, no, no esperar así como de esperar a alguien a una cita. <laughs> ok, entonces. What do, you, what do you do after generation? Teacher, a an, question. Ah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, for the number two, what are you and they? Uh, we think is do tomorrow, but when use does only she and he, ter tercera persona. ¿verdad? Pero ya habla de, 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 de mi persona y de they. Entonces, exactly. le hemos tomado como, ¿no? So exactly. Como so do. If we have uh, you and they, automatically we have two. Nosotros. So it is or okay. whether we or whether they. Okay, okay. Uh, yo creo que aquí tendría que ser what do you do after graduation? Yes. Porque Hello, Monica, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello, Monica, can you hear me? Are you having problems with the connection or something? Or can you can you hear what I'm saying? Bravo, señores. Ah, bueno. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sí, sí. la conversación sí. con Google. Y esto que, que, son, este que es la, la contracción de Google. De Google. Ah, y no, esta no, es no, la no, contracción no. de Will. Will. Uh -huh. Ustedes sí son inteligentes, ya vean. No, si sí él dijo. <risa> él dijo. <risa> él lo dijo antes de. ¿Saben que le digo? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde, está, ¿dónde, está, ¿dónde no? está eso? ¿Qué ustedes están ¿Dónde? diciendo? ¿Dónde? En la clase de en la clase 2 del presente simple y cuando hicimos el ejercicio el último ejercicio mm. ahí está donde ponían tu feed tu check tu live en todo ponían el tu uh -huh. y así en el tu me perdí yo estaba como en esto y se pasó los... <risa> Ey, se regresó <risa> se regresó <risa> para que ustedes recordaran que yo no les estoy dando mentiras oh, ok <risa> Ay, ay, qué pesado, compañerito. Vaya, veamos esta. What? Mario, usted se quieto. <risa> Van a decir que, que le está haciendo. Vaya, Mario. What? What? Porque, ¿qué le gustaría comer? 
What? Huevo frito, por favor. What? Whoa. With... Whoa. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Whoa. Entonces así. What? No encuentro. El... Están inventando, Mario. <risa> no encuentro. Es que se, se, se ve de lado. Vaya, sí, déjelo. El teacher va a entender. <risa> Mario, are you sure that that's the right answer to number one? Ah, bye. Okay. Well. What it should like? Clase de papas te gustaría comer. Bye. Okay. Got king of potatoes. Eso está bien así como la dejado. La dos. Hello, Monica, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Your microphone is off, so I cannot hear what you're saying. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello. Well, Monica, we were just trying to do kind of a new evaluation for the other ones to see how well or how able were they to understand some, some topics that we probably didn't see during this module, but it's kind of a previous evaluation because it's module three, but we just wanted to see if they were able to understand or not. So we're going to see what's going to happen. So, um, guys, did you complete them all? Did you finish all the exercises? No, teacher. No, what happened? Which one did you leave? Which um, teacher, no two, finish. Two, falta. Oh, you're missing two? Sí. Los dos últimos. So guys, did you complete them all or are you still missing something? Lo último nos faltó. Estamos usando el, el quo. Quo will. Still? All right, so I will give you just five more or seven more minutes the most because we will need to check that before going to the next part, okay? 
So please try to join your groups once again. ¿Dónde está Mediders? ¿En la escuela o en... ¿Cómo que dice? A school party on Sunday. Que hay una fiesta sería... de escuela en el domingo, creo yo. En domingo. Uh -huh. Ajá. En la primera sería Tel. Tel, tel ¿verdad? Liz, tel, sí. Mediter. A school, Paddy or Sunday. Y la segunda sería: Would you ask Bill Brian? Brink. Brink. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que es como porque de si traer. Dice, porque si dice tu, tu Brink. Sería brin, brin. Es que ahí me confundo porque no. Es que, pero para mí se escucha mm -hmm. raro decir el to, to bring, no sé. Mm -hmm. Ajá. A brin, a brin, dijera así. Escucho. Sería solo brin. Brin también. Si está, si está este, malo, que nos corrige el piso. <risa> 20 centavos por lo menos Sí Va en la tercera Ahí sería También um, Ahí quizás sí sería la segunda Vea Kuljuax Dana Datimobi Ahí sí sería la segunda, vea, en la número tres. Mm, creo que también sería tel. Porque ask es de preguntar. Entonces sería, podrías preguntarle a Dana que la película empieza a las ocho y quince. No se escucha bien. Ajá, entonces podría, ajá, entonces sería mejor la primera, vea. Podrías decirle a Dana. Ajá. Tel. Dana, yo la voy a anotar porque no tengo cómo resolverla. O sea, 
desde el teléfono es bien complicado. Vale. Hola, en la siguiente, en la otra diapositiva. En esta era usando el bud y no me acuerdo qué otro más era. Ahí sí si se la debo, esa no la logré. No, no, le, no le di screen. Pero ahí, ahí no sería el do. What do you like to eat? No, girls. In these ones, you have to use would, will, or the contraction the I would, or the contraction of I will. I will. Gracias, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. ¿Cómo sería entonces, compañera? Ahí quedé en la luna. Hola, me escuchan. Hola. 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 Hola me sí, escuchan? sí. Yo sí, le escuchamos. Tarde. Yo ya entré tarde. ¿Qué están haciendo? Tal vez no eh, bien. Estamos haciendo unos ejercicios de práctica que nos dio el teacher. Era como, era como una evaluación, no, un, no es una evaluación, sino que quiere ver cómo, si entendemos el tema. Entonces, ahí sería usando? el well, dijo que estamos usando, ahí va. Will, el wood, will, will, can call it will. Mm. Ya no me está sacando. Ese... Well, guys, I think that we have uh, enough time to complete all the exercises, right? So, uh, yes. so we are going to see, or we, I am going to check actually. So I have, uh, let me see. I have the group right here. So group number one, it is Lizette Castillo, Mario Barahona, and Roxana Lopez. You are going to respond part number two. Group number two or room number two that is with Angelica Lasso, Monica Calderon, Monica Escobar, and Rosa Maya. You are going to complete exercise one. And group number three, Alfred Guillén, Mariela del Cid, and Catherine Ramirez. We have this part right now. This is part number one. So the group. What do you say? Do? See, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. So group number one. What do you do? No, es creo que es la segunda parte, el segundo ejercicio que nos toca a nosotros. Ah, okay. Oh, this, this is not part one. Let me check. Esta parte no corresponde, verdad, Tichi? Grupo yes. one. Part number one. Yes. Group number one. Ay, this okay. is part number two. What do you do? All right, let me see. Go ahead. What do you do tonight? Is it correct do. to say what do you do tonight? ¿Qué haces hoy en la noche? Is that right? ¿O qué planeas hoy en la noche? Mm.
esos ejercicios nos costaron dicho. No se imagina. So which one, which one do you think it is correct? Do or plan? Do. If I say, what do you do tonight? Is that right? Yes. So the right verb. Um, what, what do you plan tonight? Why? Uh, Because if what I do you, if what I do use you, the verb do, what do you plan? Si utilizo el verbo do, estoy tras eh, traduciendo literalmente del español a inglés. Mm. And that is Spanish. That's not English. Okay. That's Spanish. Okay. Okay. So, hey. The next. I stay home. I stay home. Very good. Number two. Sí. Letter A. Uh -huh. Bueno, nosotros usamos siempre el do. What are do, you, what are you in the day do tomorrow? Okay, why didn't you use do, Mario? Can you tell me why didn't you use como, do? Como que harán mañana? What are you and David do tomorrow? Yes. Mm. That's correct. What are you and David do tomorrow? Very good. So number two, letter B. We have, we have, we have a barbecue. We have a beach. barbecue and a beach. But in my rain. May? May rain. Very good. Number three, letter A. What do you hope after graduation? What do you do or what do you do? What do you do after What did you do? That will be what do you do? Because if I say what do you hope? What did what did you That that's completely Spanglish, Mario. Si se usa el hope, es Spanglish. Because he, we have hope, que significa esperar, pero de esperanza, no de esperar algo. Ah, ok. Como deseo. Exactly. Hope es como te deseo lo mejor, espero lo mejor. I hope best for you. Espero lo mejor okay. para ti, pero de esperanza, no de esperar algo. So, Pero no, en este caso era, perdón, do o hope? Do. Do. No do. hope. So, number three, letter B. I travel in Europe for a week. I travel in Europe for a while. Okay, very good. So, what happened, group number one? It was just Mario and the other one saying the answers, but not group number one. What happened? ¿Qué pasó, chicas? ¿Se me huh? ahí perdidas? Así le pusimos. Travel. Okay. So group number, who is going to resolve exercises number two? I think that is your group, Mario, isn't it? Hello. Todavía no corresponde a esa parte. No. This is no. another group. Ah, oh, okay. So whose group is this? So this is, let me see. This is Lisette Castillo, Mario Barahona, and Roxana Lopez. Eh, nosotros seremos los primeros. Lo, lo anterior. Okay. El grupo uno. So this one is so this is Angelica though. Angelica, Monica, Rosa Amaya. 
girls. Hello. Hello. So, give me your answer number, for this part. Number Forest. one, yo lo tengo. There are lots of beautiful trees in this forest. Forest, very good. Number two. A desert is very is a very hot and dry place. Can you tell me, guys, what is the difference that you make when it comes to pronunciation yeah. entre la palabra desierto y postre? What's the difference that you do? Because they are written in the same way, se escriben de la misma manera, and we kind of pronounce it in the same way, but there's a little a uh, little difference. So how do you make that difference? ¿Cómo hacemos la diferencia entre decir postre y desierto? If I tell you desert, is that postre o desierto? What am I saying? Desierto. Desert. What am I saying, guys? Rosa already said desierto. Eso es lo que Rosa dijo. What about the other ones? Listen to what I'm saying. Desert. Am I saying desierto o postre? Desert. Hello, guys, the other ones. Y postre no lleva una sola S. Postre. Perdón, desert. Yes. There's postre. one S and who said Hazel, right? You said that. Que si postre no lleva una sola S. Yes, just one letter S. But if you notice that letter S, that's the only difference. It's kind of the same thing. So that's why I was telling you when I say Desert, am I saying postre or desierto? Desert is postre. Desierto lleva solo una S, teacher. Yes, <laughs> but the pronunciation is kind of the same. Desert, desert. So let me, let me see. I'm going to ask you because you don't want to participate today. So Angelica. Can you make the difference between they both, desierto y postre? How do we say that? I don't understand. So when I say desert, <laughs> am I saying postre or desierto? What do you think? You don't no sé, ahí me poncho. <laughs> All right, so listen to this. When you have to say desierto, you are going to say desert. But when you want to say postre, you're going to say desert, okay? Desert, 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 desert. There's a little difference. Even though there's only one letter S that makes the difference between the both, when it comes to pronunciation, there's just a little tiny difference that you have to make as well. So let's move on because that, that is taking too much. So number three. A mountain is always higher than a valley. Than a valley, okay, very good. This part. This Next girl, group. Manari yes. says at school very on a Sunday. Can you repeat it again? This girl, Mary is a school party on Sunday. Please tell Mary there's a there's a school party on Sunday. Very good. Number two. Will you ask Bill Brian the concert tickets tonight? In this case, it will be to bring. Why? 
¿Por qué sería to bring? Porque ya tenemos un verbo aquí, ask. Y cuando vamos okay. a tener otro verbo, es necesario siempre utilizar el, el artículo to para hacer la diferencia entre dos verbos. Would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Okay. All right, cool. Number three. Number three, hello. Hello, hello. Could you tell them the movie start at eight at night? All right. All right. So I think that that's pretty much it. What about this part? I will need volunteer guys because I said the groups, but the groups do not want to participate. So I just want to see who participates. So go ahead, any volunteer. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. Very good. So number one, would. Number two. We'll have the mashed potatoes. I'll, potatoes. I'll have the mashed potatoes. Very good. Number three. Yes, please. Bowl like some water. In this one, en esta de acá, porque no tenemos un pronombre al inicio, no podemos poner solo would, sino que sería I'd. Algo. La contracción I would or contraction I'd. Podemos decir I would or I'd. Anything to drink? Yes. I'd like some water. Very good. Number four. No, that will be all. No, that will be all. Okay, that's very good. Thank you so much. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Así no llegó toda la hora de su ejercicio, but I'm just checking to see who is participating, who is uh, doing the exercises and things like that. So we're going to just check or have a little review about Arbits of Frequency once again. We will have check some of them. Example, do you remember always usually normally those are the, the adverbs of frequency that we have? Can someone tell me what happened when we have the verb? Where do we place the adverb of frequency when we are using the verb? Where do we place the adverb? Where do we place the adverb of frequency when we are using the verb be, guys? Where do we place it? After the verb be. After the verb be, very good. And when I have the main verb, where do I place it? Before. Before, very good. Can, let me see. Can you guys remember what is the question that we do or that we ask when we want to know something about frequency? What is the question that we ask? The 
am I talking to myself today, guys? How often? How often? And when someone asks you how often, are we going to use in the answer an adverb of frequency, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. If I ask you, uh, Hazel, if I ask you, how often do you brush your teeth? What will be your answer to that question? I brush my teeth three times for day. Three times a day. That's very good. So what is the word that I, I am going to use, guys, when I want to say una vez? What's the word for that? Once. Once. What about two? The best. Twice. 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 Did, uh, why can we not say two times? Is that possible to say two times? Twice is correct. Correct. Okay. Very good. So I just wanted to check that just to verify. And let me see. I will ask you some questions right now. Randomly questions. Let me see. Um, Mr. Alfred Guillen. Yes. If I ask you the question, how often do you take a shower? What would your answer be? Please, the question. How often do you take a shower? I take a shower once a day. Once a day. Once a day, okay. If I ask you, Roxana, um, how often do you play football? Mm. I never play football. Never, never. Uh -huh. I never, okay. Very good. Did you say that or was it Hazel? Mario, are you there? Hi. All right. So, sir, if I ask you, how often do you go to swimming? Repeat. How often do you go to swimming? Hmm. Never. No, give no. Me the, no give, give me the full answer using never. I never swimming. I never swimming. Are you? Listen to the question. How often do you go to swimming? I go never, I go swimming never? No? No. Can someone help him? How often do you go to swimming? I never go to swimming. I never go to swim. Very, very good. Okay. So I think that this just it was just a review. If you still remember these parts, of the of the adverbs of frequency we're going to see just really quick the last part for today and that is oh my oh, I lost it. all right so if i ask you guys what is chocolate? Is that a countable or non-countable noun or both? Uncountable. Chocolate, is that countable or uncountable or both? Uncountable. 
Both. Both. Very good. What about pizza? Is that countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Very good. Where or with which type of sentences do we use a lot of? ¿Con qué tipo de oraciones utilizamos a lot of? With which type of sentences do we use a lot of? What is your song? I'm sorry. And the uncountable. No, with what type of sentence? Con qué tipo de oraciones utilizamos a lot of? Affirmative, negatives, or what? Plural. Plural? Yes. We use it with affirmative and negative sentences. What about many? Do we use many in negative or in positive or affirmative or in question? Where do we use many? Positive, negatives, or questions? Question. Questions? Are you sure? Negative. Negative in question. Question. Negative in questions. Very good. What about how much? Is how much a question for what? Countable or non countable? Non countable. And what is the question that we use for countable matters? How many? How many? Okay. Very good. So, guys, um, this is our last class. And I just want to say thank you so much for being in the class, for attending to class. And I hope you understood some of the topics. I hope I help you a little bit about some topics or something like that. It was a pleasure for me to be with you guys. I hope that you had the opportunity to go to the next level and to get your scholarship, right? So it was a pleasure for me to be with you. Thank you so much once again for attending to classes. And I hope to see you soon because I don't know if I'm going to be with you for the next model. But if not, once again, it was a pleasure for me to help you or to assist you or to guide you through this process, okay? Thank you so much, guys. And that's all I have to say. There is no class tomorrow because this is our last class. Okay, once again, thank you so much. And well, that's it for today, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Un módulo excelente. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.